not just you going to the doctor one time. As a matter of fact, just a quick information for people that are just getting out the military. This is the reason why a lot of times you have a 0% rating. All right, what's going on, everybody? All right, so I just want to talk to you just a little bit about your VA disability claim. So <laughs> I probably start the video like this all the time, but I'm David Davis, the owner and founder of All Veterans Disability Claims. And what I want for you is for you to get the rating that you deserve. That's what we work and that's what we fight for. And that's what we stand with veterans on is getting the rating that you deserve. It's not about getting the rating that you don't deserve. And I will tell you, if it's something that you should not file at this time, I'm going to let you know. All right. And so with the coaches that work with me. So what that means is when it comes to your VA disability claim, you have to be involved. You have to get an understanding of what it is and why it is that you need to file that claim, right? When people come to work with us, typically they have something in their mind of what they want to file. And that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not the best claim for them. Sometimes it's not going to be the best strategy for you. Sometimes it is going to be the best strategy and it's going to be the only thing that you probably could go towards and based off of your situation. But what I will tell you is to have an open mind. Have an open mind when you're talking to a coach that's been doing this for a little while. Not saying that you don't understand and you don't know, because I have talked to a lot of people that have a good understanding and knowledge of this process. And that is great, right? I wish I was in that situation when I first got out the military. Then I wouldn't have to go through a lot of the hardships. But then if I didn't go through the hardships, I probably wouldn't have started this company. So it's one of those catches that it's a good thing for you. It's a good thing for me to where if the being that I went through the hardships that I went through, it makes it so that I'm able and willing to give you information, able and willing to walk you through this process if need be, able and willing to put all this free information out here on YouTube. (laughs) With that said, please do your due diligence. You need to understand what's in your VA um, and your medical records. You need to understand what's in your medical records prior to you coming in the military, right? You need to talk, understand what was in your MEPS, which your doctor write down at MEPS, right? You need to get that information so that when you file your claim, you have a clear understanding. As a matter of fact, if you had an injury prior to you coming in the military, just look at it as the VA probably already knows about it, right? They may or may not, whatever the situation is, don't look at something like you need to hide it or whatever. Look at it as, hey, this was a situation You still have another situation that took place and now you're dealing with whatever you have now. Okay. Probably talk a little bit more about that in a little bit because I probably am speaking in code to an extent, but I'm just uh, rifting right now, basically. But when you're looking at your VA disability claim, you need to file the claim the right way. And it starts by you doing some research, not someone else doing research and bringing information to you. As a matter of fact, when you file your claim, And what I tell everybody is have all of the medical documentation, all of the statements, if you need one, in place and pick out the information of your VA or your medical records that you need to support your claim, meaning that you don't need to put every single piece of thing in from your medical records showing that you have this and this. As a matter of fact, most claims and most ratings or I'm sorry, most Veterans that are getting out the military nowadays in their records, there's going to be a problem list. And that problem list is going to say everything that you went to the doctor for. And they're going to say everything that's considered to be chronic. Chronic is key when you're filing a claim, right? Especially if it's in your VA. I'm sorry, if it's in your medical records from the military. If it says chronic next to it, that means that it's not something that's acute, which means that it happened. Like if I get a code that code is going to be here today and maybe gone tomorrow. If I hurt my knee, was it something that just happened and hurt for a little bit and now it's gone and I don't have to get any kind of treatment for it again? Or if it's something, or is it something that I constantly go into the doctor for? I've had profiles for it. They've done x-rays. They've seen some kind of injury in there. They've given me a diagnosis. That is the difference between the chronic and that's based off of my interpretation. Obviously, that's not medical jargon or whatever, but chronic is something that's lasting longer than right now, right? I believe it's considered to be six months. 
right? So acute is an illness that generally develops suddenly and lasts a short time, often only a few days or or weeks so or weeks. Chronic conditions develop slowly and may worsen over an extended period of time, months to years, right? So that means that you're getting continuous treatment for it. If it's if it just happened one time and you don't have to ever get treatment again, then it's not really a chronic condition and there's no rating or a breakdown for it or um, compensation for it, right? Just keep that in mind when you're looking at these uh, different claims that you want to file. Because I know that I was like that when I filed my claim was that I wanted to file this. I wanted to file that. I wanted to file all these different things because it was in my medical records. I wasn't getting treatment for it. I was in the military on active duty anyway for nine years. A lot of these things I got when I was active duty and then I was trying to file them 15 years later. Wasn't getting any treatment or anything like that. All right. What's that? What's up? So, hey, hope you're enjoying the video. But I just want to stop for a second for any veteran that is getting prepared for their compensation and pension exam. I'm here. I'm David Davis, the owner and founder of All Veterans Disability Claims, where I coach thousands of veterans through the process. Um, But a lot of times I see people on YouTube that are just getting prepared for a compensation and pension exam that they might have next week or a couple of weeks from now. Um, I want to be able to help you and provide service as much as possible. I'm here to personally guide you through this crucial step. So for a limited time, I'm offering one-on-one coaching for $97. I will tell you, $97 is not going to last that that's not going to last long. So while it is there, go ahead and sign up for your one-on-one coaching. Um, and that and we'll sign up for one hour. A Zoom meeting will be on face-to-face. It'll be me and you, right? And we'll go over everything that you need to know, what documents to bring, how to express your health impacts on your service, and how to effectively present your case. The goal is to ensure that you walk into the examination confident and fully prepared, okay? So, Don't miss the opportunity to get expert guidance at a rate that will not last. I'm telling you, it will not last. Spaces are limited and we're we're committed to your success. Um, Ready to take the next step. Go ahead and click the link. It's going to be in the description below after this video, of course. Um, And please, you know, go ahead and like and subscribe this video. We'll talk to you soon. So acute versus chronic. So it's not just you going to the doctor one time. As a matter of fact, Just a quick information for people that are just getting out the military. This is the reason why a lot of times you have a 0% rating. You might have a condition or you might have a situation that took place in the military and they find it on your way out the military because everyone wants to go to the clinic when it's time for them to get out because nowadays they know about the VA rating that you're supposed to be looking for or, or filing for whatever the situation is. But you'll come out and you'll find out you have a 0% rating. You're like, why do I have a 0%? And then you'll end up staying like that for years and years. The situation is that you filed a claim for a condition that you were just diagnosed with. And it's been a couple of months, right? It's not considered chronic. It's just a condition, right? So now they'll likely give you a 0% rating because they know it happened in the military. But there's nothing that's continuous. Most of the conditions that are in the military that are rateable are going to say the compensation is going to be zero percent if it's not affecting you very much meaning that i don't know that it wasn't there for a long time and that it's not affecting you on the job if it just happened last month you don't know how much it's going to affect you on the job basically right that's why you get a zero percent rating the idea would be get treatment and then file for an increase and now that claim turns into an actual if you have the conditions if you have the symptoms for it it can fall into the line of something that is compensable, right? But anyway, that's my, di- I, I digress again. There's three things that are needed when you're filing your claim, right? You need to have a diagnosis. You need to have an in-service event or aggravation or what can any of those three things. It can be directly service connected, can be service connected to another condition that is service connected, or it can be connected to another condition that is service connected. It can be something that was um, aggravated by the military, meaning that you had a um, condition prior to coming in the military, and now you have a condition, and now you're dealing with an aggravation because the military has made it worse. I don't know. You had the march, you had the run, whatever the situation is, and now those flat feet become worse, and you're getting treatment for it all the time where you weren't before, whatever the situation is. So you have an in-service event or aggravation. You had the current diagnosis, what that means is that you got out the military 20 years ago. 
when you're talking about a condition you got then, do you have a diagnosis where a doctor is treating you right now? Or was it just something that was that happened in the military and you haven't had any issue with it since you got out? That's what they're looking for. A current diagnosis and service event. Current diagnosis and service event. Sometimes just that right there can be confusing because sometimes we can go to the a CMP exam and they'll be like, okay, yeah, you do have that. It's been 20 years, but I see it. That's because that examiner can also diagnose you. If they can talk to you and find out and examine you to an extent and find out if you have something and it's what's obvious, they're going to diagnose you. Not all of them do that, but they can. So <laughs> now you have a current diagnosis and you have an in-service event. Okay. Sometimes you, you'll see on your decision letter where it says current, you do have a current diagnosis based off of my examination and that's your favorable finding, but you're denied, right? The reason you're denied is because there's no nexus or there's no in-service event that they can pin it to. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes what you need to be able to explain, or let's say that I have a bad back and I, I injured it in the military. I got out the military 20 years ago and now I'm filing a claim for a bad back. The doctor's talking to me, asking me some questions. What's your job that you do now? I'm a bodybuilder. I might specialize in lifting weights with my back. So to an extent, I might have, and this is just me talking again, I might have given myself or taken away my nexus, meaning that I given another reason for my back possibly hurting. I could have had an injury in the military, but now um, I'm also explaining that I had another thing that I'm doing and have been doing for many years that hasn't had any limitations to it. And I might have just told the doctor, this is why my back is hurting to an extent, right? So now you might have taken away your nexus. When it comes down to it, you need an in-service event, current diagnosis, and a nexus. A nexus just means a connection, right? How do you connect that current diagnosis to the military? How is it connected? So there's a gap. There's a hole there. And that hole is 20 years long, right? 20 years wide, <laughs> whatever you want to look at it. So what goes in there? right? The doctor can't fill in that entire hole for you. You have to be able to do it yourself. You need to be able to do it with your information, with your statement, with your buddy's statements, with your spouse's statement, whatever, with your current medical documentation showing that, okay, you've been getting treatment for the last 20 years, whatever the situation is, you need to be able to show that there's no other reason why you have that condition except for the military. You had an injury there. That's your current, your in-service event and aggravation. You have a diagnosis now. That can be great, even better if that same doctor has been treating you for the last 20 years when you got out. But that's showing that you've been getting treatment. You're getting care for that same condition for the last bunch of years. And it wasn't because you had a new injury that happened after you got out of the military. Right. So that's that. I'm going to stop there and we'll jump into another video another time. All right. All right. So yeah, again, I'm David Davis. I am the owner and founder of All Veterans Disability Claims. If you need assistance with your VA disability claim, reach out to us, avdchelp.com, avdchelp.com, and we'll go ahead and get signed up and we'll get you a free consultation and we'll take care of you where we can. All right. So I look forward to hearing from you. Please, I don't care if it's not with us, get education, get understanding, file your claim the right way. Talk to you later.